Welcome back. This is the sixth video in my introduction to Unity series. Last time we started going over the terrain engine, I said that I was going to take a break in order to build out a bit of a mountain terrain. That's what I did here. Uh, height map painting in the terrain engine is relatively simple but extremely time consuming, especially if you're particular like me and you're a perfectionist, it can take quite a while to get exactly what you're looking for. I'm going to show you a few more techniques I didn't have a chance to go over last time. Uh, we were mostly talking about raising and lowering height, and I think it, I might have also discussed set height. If I didn't, uh, set height allows you to just press shift and click on a height somewhere on your terrain, and then now it'll paint everything up to but not beyond that height. So something like that. You can also set the exact height by number. So say you wanted to have a plateau that was exactly 57 meters high. Need a little more opacity than that. This will build up to exactly 57 increase the size too. Exactly 57 and no higher. So there we go. It's a little high. Let's try 38 actually. There we go. That's a little better for a plateau. Okay. So now that we have train made out here. Another useful thing is smooth. Now with smooth you can kind of erode edges like so. Get more of a natural feel to your shapes. You'll notice that occasionally little errors like That line that popped up a second ago, or yeah, there's another one back there, will will appear, and you can usually just smooth those out. That's just the height map having a little trouble interpolating between two vastly different points. So now everything looks pretty good, and now I'll just show you kind of what I built up over here. We have kind of a, a cliff edge here. So your player is not quite sure how he got here. Looks like maybe there used to be a path or something this way. There's definitely a path or something over here, so maybe we'll come up this way. Come around the side of the mountain here. And I left this part open because that's going to be part of a later video. We're going to put a cave mouth in here. You can't do that with just the terrain editor because with the terrain editor there's no way to have an overhang. Anything I paint up I can't push this inward per se. I can only push it down. So you can never have, you can't push into the side of this mountain. So a little bit later we're going to talk about how to import a mesh that will make this appear like it's a cave mouth connected to the mountain. And I'll also deal uh, a little more with that cave mouth in the scripting tutorial. So if you're following along, and uh, you definitely want to save this scene file if you're making a, a similar scene file. And we'll be using it later. For right now, if we turn our scene lights back on, I turn them off to work a little bit. We can see that things look Pretty homogenous. It's all the same color here. And that color is actually white. It's being thrown off a little bit by... by our scene light. If we want to, we can actually grab that and we can set that to a bit more sunny color. It is sunset though, so why don't we tint it a little bit red. Hmm. That's a good color. Hmm. 
Yeah, it looks like a nice little sunset there. We might adjust that later, but for now, we're going to get into painting the splat textures. So to do that, we need splat textures, so we're going to go over to the assets here, and we're going to import the terrain assets folder. And that gives you a few simple terrain assets to work with. It gives you some detailed grasses. And it gives you some, well, four exactly, terrain textures. So we're going to go over to our terrain, and we're going to go over to this brush, which is the texture painter. And we're going to add in those textures. Just click Edit Textures, Add. Click on this little circle next to the splat area. And we're going to select, first of all, the cliff face texture, because most of our scene here is going to be cliff face. And when you select it there, it will automatically make cliff face the default texture and put it over top of everything. Now if we go in here and add another texture, say some grass and roots here, or grass and rock rather, You can now come in here, select the, make sure you have it selected, it should be kind of in blue there. And we can come in here, and we can paint some grassy rock texture on the flatter surfaces here. Just to give our terrain a little more variety. You'll notice that I set the opacity kind of low, so that way it doesn't completely overwrite the texture under it, and it gets a blends a bit more nicely. I can actually lower that a little bit more to just make these edges kind of work together. that. So now we have a little more variety. It's a little more obvious also that this is a pathway here because it matches the kind of ground texture that the player will, will notice that that's different than the wall and this path here has a similar texture. So that's useful for guiding the player where you want them. So there we go. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how to add some fog and some other tricks. So that way, it'll look like it's much farther down. Right now, it kind of looks like we can make that jump, probably break a leg or two. But uh, And also, you can see where the world ends. You don't want that. So we're going to add some fogs and some other things so that this is a little more realistic.